Hi and welcome to the Ardoin Medium Achievement Diary. Quest requirements are Enlightened Journey Quest and the Balloon Route to go to Castle Wars, Hand in the Sand, Tower of Life and Underground Pass. You also need to have partially completed Watchtower Quest until you have a Skavit map, partially completed Sea Slug until you can travel to the Fishing Platform and also partially completed Fairy Tale Part 2 Quest until you have unlocked the Fairy Rings. Skill requirements are 21 range, 31 farming, 38 strength, 38 thieving, 39 agility, 51 magic, 50 attack and 50 fire making. For the items needed is a Dremen or a Lunar Staff, a Mithril Grapple, any crossbow to shoot it, 2 Law and Water runes, 3 Strawberry Seeds and if you want to protect them to be sure to complete this task, 1 Basket of Apples. One small fishing net, a scavit map, a raw chicken and a raw swordfish and any kind of light source. And then also one regular lock, one U lock and a upgraded Ivan staff. If you don't have the upgraded one, you will need to have the regular one with 200,000 GP. For the suggested items is a Ardoin cloak 1, a weapon to kill a combat 46, and then some weight reducing armor and something like one stamina potion should be enough. Where to complete our first task? I'm going to start just north of East Ardoin at the Master Farmer, pickpocket him, and this will be the first medium task completed. Next, let's go northeast, go around to the sheep field and do the farm. Now if you do not have any farming supplies here at the Tool Leprechaun, go back to the Master Farmer and there you'll find a farming shop. Buy a rake and a seed dipper, or just get your rake and your seed dipper from the Tool Leprechaun. Rake the allotment, and then we just need to plant the strawberry seeds in this patch. If you have brought your basket of apples, Let's go to the, um, the gag member, pay north or south wherever you have planted your seeds. And next let's go southeast to Witch Haven. Here in Witch Haven, just where you've started the Sea Slug quest, let's talk to Jeb. And he will take you to the fishing platform. If you've not completed the Sea Slug quest, then you will need to talk to Holgard. Here on the eastern side of the fishing platform, you'll find a couple of fishing signs. Let's uh, net the fishing spot. Be sure that you're able to fish the fishing spot. There are a couple of troll spots. If you can't reach one, just try another one. When you've caught something, uh, drop it if you don't want it and teleport with our Ardoin Cloak 1 to the Ardoin Monastery. You can also just talk to Jeb and walk all the way over here. Next, let's go to the Tower of Life, just located east of the Ardoin Monastery. First, we will need to go a little bit northeast of the Tower of Life to where there is a transportation sign. Behind these trees there is a ferry ring. Let's equip our Dremen or Lunar Staff and let's configure the ferry ring. And first we will need to use the code BIS. Teleport. There should be another medium task completed because we're now in the zoo. Because we're now in the zoo with the unicorns, let's return to Xanaris or configure I have an old habit of always returning to Xanaris. Let's configure and with, let's now use the code AIR or AIR to go to the islands just southeast of Ardoin to this little island. And let's now right click and configure. And let's go back to the Tower of Life by using the code DJP teleport. All right, after we've done this, Let's enter the Tower of Life. Be sure that you have your weapon to kill a Comet 46 and a raw chicken and swordfish. 
enter the tower and go south. Let's climb down the trapdoor next to the southern wall. Next go a little bit southwest and use your raw chicken on the symbol of life as well as your raw swordfish. Right click and activate. You have all the materials. Let's go and kill the sword chick. It pretty much drops nothing. Next, let's go to our achievement diaries and let's open up the mini game and let's use the Castle Wars mini game teleport. If you're unable to use the mini game teleports right now, you can also just use a dual ring, but this mini game teleport is pretty much for free. Next, let's go north, follow the path until you see that transportation sign. Let's right click and fly with assistant Marrow to... Now you can choose any location that you want, but because I said to bring regular logs, let's travel to Taverly. This wasn't the actual task, but let's fly with assistant Stan and return to Castle Wars. And this one is a medium task completed. This will also cost one U log. Next, let's go south and keep going south to cross the bridge. And then we just need to run east to Yanil or to the first dungeon sign that we see. Be sure to have your scavit map and your light source, else you will not be able to see anything in that dungeon. And if you don't have your map, uh, you will just end up somewhere else. So here, the first dungeon sign. Let's enter the cave entrance. Yes, yeah, sure, without a dinner box. And here we'll find a scavit and a cave nightshade. Let's pick it up off the ground and there's another task completed. Let's exit the cave and continue going east. Keep going east until we see a uh, shortcut sign here on the southern wall of the Yanil wall. Equip our crossbow and the mithril grapple and now grapple the southern Yanil wall. Current stage 1, let's jump off the wall to enter Yanil. And this was task number 9 out of 12. Next, let's go north and talk to Bird. Bird is just located north of the uh, Dragon's Inn pub, next to the house portal. Let's talk to Bird, just like in the Hand in the Sand quest. Let him deliver some sand to your bank. That is task number 10 out of 12. Next, let's teleport using the regular spellbook Teleport Ardoin, which requires two Law and Water Runes, to complete task number 11. And now we just need to complete one more task, which is to equip a Iban's upgraded staff. If you already have the upgraded staff, just equip it and you have completed all your tasks. Now we just need to go west to the Flying Horse Inn to claim your reward. Now, I do not have the upgraded version, but I do have the regular staff and 200,000 GP. So first, what I need to do is go to the Dark Mage, which lives in the house closest to the entrance of the Underground Pass. I just need to pay him 200,000 GP and he will upgrade it. That is as easy as that. Now, if you also do not have the regular Ivan staff, you will need to enter the Underground Pass and go through it until you reach the Disciples of Iban. You will need to kill them for a broken Iban staff. Then you'll need to return to the Dark Mage with 200,000 GP and he will repair it to a regular staff. Then you'll also need to pay him an another 200,000 GP to upgrade it. Alright, I already arrived to the Dark Mage. Let's talk to him. Here's 200,000 GP, upgrade my staff. And you now have the upgraded one. All right, and this is the Ardoin medium task completed where you have to equip a um, Iban's upgraded staff. But now there's one more to go, which is actually to harvest these strawberries that we have started at the start of this guide. 
but as you can see my inventory has completely changed and that is because I've already waited for almost 45 minutes and the strawberries are not still grown so uh, have fun waiting or doing something else for the next 45 minutes maybe even longer before you're able to complete and get your reward all right yes after literally waiting for 45 minutes harvest a strawberry by having a spade in your inventory let's go to that inn and claim our reward let's talk to two pints complete all the medium diary tasks and you now have the Ardoin cloak too and an antique lamp which gives you 7500 experience in any skill that you want as long as it is level 40 or higher Next you're also now rewarded with 100 noted pure essence given you by wizard Cumbertree per day, one daily teleport to the Ardoin farm patch, some drops in the Tower of Life are now noted, 10% increase to succeed pickpocketing in Ardoin, ability to toggle the Ring of Life to teleport you to Ardoin on death, and you now also craft more runes but no more extra experience when crafting essence at the ZMI or Orania altar. This was my guide, hopefully it helped, subscribe, rate, and comment, okay thanks, bye!